most recent one is quite a special one. This is the Hello Kitty 50th anniversary. It is a collaboration project between Gabato and Hello Kitty Avril that came with it. And it's called the Enchanted Forest. So Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft, and I thought it would be time for a an update to my Caveco Sport collection. So quite recently, I shared an update on my Caveco Lilliput collection, and I'll put a link up there for you in case you're interested in that. I have almost the complete collection, just a few limited editions for that I still have to look for, but um, my sport collection isn't as uh, complete. In fact, I have decided to mm, limit it to this particular case. So what you see right in front of you um, would be my very first Caveco Sport. This is the Caveco Sport, uh, sorry, the Caveco Collection in Mellow Blue. And right here is my Caveco 14 uh, pen case from Galen Leather. This is one of my favorite um, places to get leather products from. This is the undyed uh, leather ver variation of it. Variant. <laughs> There's like a lot of new colors, including the very uh, new color Carmine. I think that looks fantastic if you're into like the red scarlet sort of color. You also see right in front of you, because I'm not going to unbox uh, a lot. In fact, I'm just going to unbox two today and those are like special collaboration uh, pieces. But um, for every Caveco that you get, you get a piece of their history. So they talked a little bit about their history, how they started in 1883. Um, and then they move forward to 1899, wherein they had Koch and Weber coming in, hence Caveco. And then it talks a little bit about 1911 when the Caveco Sport came. Um, and then it just has a lot of interesting things. For example, when the logo was developed and uh, where it is today. Oh, here it also says it was relaunched. The sport collection was relaunched in 1994. What, is it, what it doesn't tell you, um, of course, would be their dark years, which would be sometime 1930 to 1980. Not surprising because that was, 1930 was around a little bit before the World War and then they um, floundered a bit and then they came bouncing back in 1980 and started developing uh, the Caveco line again and then in 1994 the Sport um, Caveco Sport was relaunched and now it's just like everywhere a lot of people have Cavecos and then of course here it tells you of the different types of Caveco products you have your fountain pen your roller ball your ball pen your push pencil clutch pencil um, then you also have your dip pen um, and then certification. So there's a lot of that in this little piece of literature. Each one also has a sticker from Caveco. It's quite a nice sticker. I have quite a number of this at this point. Um, this is the more common tin box that it comes in, but the Caveco also comes in boxes and I'll show you how that looks in a little while. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I just want to go through the different Cavecos that I have. I'll talk a little bit about the materials that were used. So Caveco Sports comes in plastic, it comes in <clears throat> celluloid. That was one of their first Cavecos that was in 2003. It comes in um, aluminum, in steel, in bronze, in brass. And uh, very recently, for their anniversary, it came in the ebonite material. Okay, so I'll go through it in years. And then we'll just go and have a little look at what I have so far. So yes, I am limiting it to 14. I don't know how I will decide on how to kick which one out. Because uh, to be honest, each one has been some sort of a baby for me. 
Okay, so although the Caveco Mellow Blue was the first in my collection, this particular one was actually released, this color was released in 2022. The oldest color that I have in my collection is actually the Macchiato, which is this nice sort of nude colored one. And as you can see, it still says Caveco Sport right there. I say that because I think at some point they started changing it. If you open it up, you will see that it has steel, a steel nib for this one. This is a bold. Um, they also have gold plated and gold nibs. Now each one will have a little cartridge with blue ink in it. And basically really what you want to do is you just want to plug it there. So you have two options. One is to use the cartridge, just pop it in. Um, you can also purchase a converter and it comes in this tiny little like push uh, suction sort of thing. And once you suck your ink in, again, you just push it in and it'll do the rest of the work. I have quite a number of this too. Um, as much as I thought that was fantastic, using an empty Caveco cartridge and simply getting a blunt uh, syringe, blunt needle syringe, and just injecting that with ink actually holds more ink than the converter does. So yeah. So you will notice though that um, whatever color the nib is usually, well, yes, whatever color the nib is would be the color of the logo on the finial. So this is the Caveco Sport in Macchiato. This is a 2016 color. Um, let's just put it here. You see it? I hope you guys see it. Okay, I know, I'll just put it there. And then in 2018, they had a special release. This is again a Caveco Sport. I'm not so sure if it came with a clip. This is a pen clip and um, you, this is like an add-on. So you need to purchase it if you want it, except if you have a special edition. So I'm not very sure about this one because though this was released in 2018, I got a new old stock when I was in Malaga last year and I thought it was a really good place to get the Caveco Orangina that's the name of this one because it was released only within Spain so to get an Orangina while in Spain and knowing that it is a limited edition geographically it was only released in Spain I thought was quite good so they did that for 2018 again trim is the same in fact, I feel like maybe it's a little darker, but that could just be me. So that is your 2018. Then the next thing that you will see, of course, will be your 2021. This is the Caveco Collection in Vibrant Violet. Okay, so as you can see, it's going to be gold. Again, it matches. And I love this color a lot. These two are made in plastic, the Macchiato and the uh, Orangina, but this one is already aluminum and it has this like matte finish to it. I love this color. I had a tricky time finding this because by the time I got into collecting, which was uh, super late 2022 or early 2023, this has been uh, on the market for like a year plus and so not a lot of sellers had this but I was quite lucky to find this one okay so that's uh, 2021 then we move forward to 2022 the year I started collecting so 2022 had a lot of interesting colors one of which is this Caveco collection in mellow blue this I just fell in love with this color I really like it a lot and I used this for quite a long time. This was my first and only Caveco for some time and then I got the Macchiato if I'm not mistaken. Um, another 2022 release, they had a lot of really good ones, is this Sage Green. It's These colors are quite mute. I wouldn't say pastel but very mute. Again, same 
anatomy for each one. When you get one, you get a blue cartridge um, and it, it'll have the, uh, this is what you're supposed to like plug in, right? That will be like down in the body. Okay, if I can manage it when you get it. And these usually come in like boxes, um, not in a, a tin case like this. I'll show you how it looks in a little while. Then you have the 2022 collection and there were two that year. One is the Ruby Red. Nice and shiny, it's not matte at all, not like the not like the uh, purple one we were looking at or the vibrant violet. So this is ruby red. There are other reds in the collection. This is the ruby red one, nice and glossy and shiny. And then we have the Caveco collection in Iguana Blue. This is the uh, second to the last 2022 color that I'll be sharing with you. Again, this nib is actually um, gold plated, so it's not uh, real gold nib so it's gold plated um i would say that usually my experience is that if the nib is gold plated um, my writing experience is a bit more inconsistent than if it was just a steel without the plating okay so those would be my first one two three four five six seven um Covecos color wise um but they didn't really come in that order um, I just wanted to show it according to year. Now we move to the next part. So if you have a Caveco collection and you decide to get yourself a Galen Leather 14, um, 14? Yeah, 14 pen case, it's always good to sort of like peel this um, to the other side so that you don't scratch the finish if you're a little bit um, OC like me when it comes to that. Um, Galen just released, I think, a 60 pen case for Covecos. So have a look at that if you haven't already. Okay, so here would be the last three for now because I want to share some of my newer ones with you and unbox them with you, sort of, because I already unboxed them. But anyway, okay, this is the Caveco Collection Iridescent Purple. This is quite interesting. A lot of people fell in love with this. Um, I even have like a friend Marie, uh, Maria, so she actually had one, decided to release it back to the wild and then she had to repurchase uh, one because she really liked it. So this is the Iridescent per Pearl, uh, Iridescent Pearl, yeah, I think that's what you call it. Yes, the Iridescent Pearl also released in 2022. I only use that once because uh, it, it's a bit tricky to clean it. Then we move to, because you know, the ink sort of stains in the section, so that was a bit annoying to clean, but I like having it in the collection. In 2023, they came out with the bronze. So previous to this, they had the stainless steel, they had brass, and they have the aluminum. And in 2023, they came out with the Caveco bronze, and it is a heavy piece. It has a silver, nib on it. I really like this one. I really like how it patinas. I like the weight of it. Um, it's actually quite like patinaed already. Um, and I've only been using it for like two, three weeks maybe. On and off. Well, two to three weeks every day and then on and off since I got it, I've been using it. Um, and then Finally, at least in terms of my current collection that I'm sharing, we have the Caveco Ebonit Sport. So this was um, to celebrate the Caveco 140th anniversary. They came out with this. It came out in a box set. I'll leave my unboxing here if I can insert it. This is made with ebonite and because it's a special edition, it came with this nostalgic clip on top so it usually your Covecos don't usually have these clips but this one came with that and a box of um, inks of their different colors so this is how it looks I really um, what I really like about this I mean it's so pretty and everything but what I really like is this thing there 
It's like some nice wooden thing. Okay, this also came with a blue uh, cartridge in it, um, but I have since removed it. Okay, so let's put this aside for now. These are the different colors that I have so far. I have since added three more into the collection and I'd like to sort of unbox and share them with you here. Okay, so the the one that I got right after I got this uh, Caveco Ebonet is actually a Bungo Box special. This is the Bungo Box Little Witch, The Little Witch. It comes in this very pretty box, black and like uh, fuchsia. There's the Bungo Box um, logo. Okay, and then it has a black tin um, container and it says Bungo Box, the little witch right there. Um, you can see, right, this one, definitely a different style to it. And of course, a different color. I actually like that a lot. When you open it up, you will see the Bungo Box Caveco um, literature in it. Talks a little bit about how you can use it. And then it has a Little Witch card. And it talks about ancient festivals in Germany. And where the inspiration for the Little Witch comes from. And like what I mentioned, each one comes with literature. And I'm pretty sure this one came with a sticker, but I most probably removed it. This Little Witch came with its converter so it's not usually included but this one included one and it also came with a clip so this black clip came with this this is a very special color it's like a dark purple and here it says bungo box the little witch and of course this clip came with it let's just have a look and compare it with our vibrant violet as you can see it's a very different um, color all right <clears throat> and as always when you open it up the nib has the same color as the finial which would be black so you've only seen a uh, silver and gold so far this is the black one and this came with a cartridge but I'm not sure if I removed it already because I have used this pen it's an extra fine in black. It worked quite well. So that's how the unboxing of this one looks like. It's quite a nice one. After this, I thought I'd stop for a bit. Um, and then I saw, um, so that's a 2023 as well. And then in 2024, I saw that they released another iridescent. And this is their so it's a Caveco collection. It comes in this box. This is what I was telling you about earlier. Sometimes their thing does not come in tin, but it comes in boxes like this. Maybe not as banged up. That, that's my fault. I think I banged that up. Okay, so this one is called the Caveco Sport Collection Apricot Pearl. And it is a 2024 release. And I think it is supposed to be part of this collection. So this is your iridescent pearl, and then you have your iridescent apricot. Is that what you call it? Sorry, apricot pearl. Iridescent pearl, apricot pearl. Oh, I think it comes with pearl, I mean, orange ink this time. I haven't quite used this actually, because I just got it sometime in like mid-March, right before I was supposed to go for the Minimal Pen Show. So 2022 and then 2024. This is a nice one, plastic again. Okay, so, so far you've seen plastic, you've seen aluminum with matte, aluminum with gloss, um, then you've also seen the bronze, the ebonite, another aluminum one. I think this is aluminum. Yeah, with another matte, but with a very special color. And so this is based, these are basically the materials that these come in. 
And my super most recent one, if I can find it. All right, so my most recent one is quite a special one. This is the Hello Kitty 50th anniversary. It is a collaboration project between Gaveco and Hello Kitty as they commemorate Hello Kitty's 50th year. So this is her 50th birthday pen and it was released in 2024. It even comes with a nice little sticker right there that has the Hello Kitty on it. Um, the sleeve itself has a ton of Hello Kitty references. It's pink and white. This particular pen came in three different colors if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's the, well, two, sorry, the pink one and the lilac one, but there's also, I think, a green one. I'm not so sure if it is for the 50th anniversary or if it was just a collaboration. So when you open it up, again, you have a different tin can. So you have seen this one and you've seen this one, which is actually um, quite common. <coughs> sorry. And you have the black one for the little witch, right? So this is actually the rarest that I have seen, this black one. Um, this is the most common one, but they also have this silver one, which a lot of special edition pens have. And when you open it up, this one comes from Muse Pens. I got this during the Manila Pen Show. Um, it comes with stickers, nice Hello Kitty stickers. And it comes with a, a pretty little keychain, actually. It's kind of cute. Because <laughs> if you're into that, right? You can shake it and uh, hearts and stuff. You see it sort of like shake inside too. Okay, and there's like a lot of shimmering going on. And in the case, again, you will see the sticker and the history and you see these two because uh, I took them out already so one would hold the pen and the other the other one held the clip it did not come with a converter but that's fine because I don't really use the converters and here is the pen okay so I got the pink one because I thought it was so Hello Kitty um, I did have a choice between this one and, sorry, the lilac one, but I decided on this one. Design-wise, Finial has gold. It came with a free nostalgic, I think, clip. I think that's what you call that. Um, in gold as well. And on this side, it says Caveco Hello Kitty with Hello Kitty's little bow right there. See it? Hope you do. Um, and here it just says uh, 2023, actually, is in Rio. So I suppose this was released in 2023, and I just got this in 2024. Okay, when you open it up, you have the color match, but this one is a little special because it has the Hello Kitty um, logo. No, Hello Kitty, actually, on the nib instead of... Uh, what you'll usually find, which is Caveco. Let's open one up, just so you see. So instead of having just the logo, you have the Hello Kitty face on it. I think this is a fine. Let's scoot you in just a little more, so you see. For the black one, in case you were like interested, because I am, it also just has the Caveco logo on it no witch or anything but it's in black which is quite a rarity and for the 150th anniversary it's also just the Caveco logo so this one is quite special because it has the Hello Kitty head on it that's interesting that's actually one of the reasons why I got this pen color is good and the collaboration work and this would be my last Caveco to date and I think with this one I will now have 13 uh, Cavecos in total with like two special 
editions um, and a few collections plus the Ebonite which is the 150th anniversary pen and um, the bronze which is also a new addition in terms of uh, material lineup so this is what we have so far colors uh, from 2016 all the way to I think that's how it should be 2024 um hmm talk to you already about the clips and the cases they all, there are also pouches I did a review on the pouches I'll leave a link up there for you and of course you've seen my Galen leather case for it so how do I actually arrange them I don't usually arrange them according to year I usually arrange them according to um, their materials so I usually start with plastic and a little bit of the color as well so I usually start with the plastic ones on one side so a bit of the muted ones in the website for Galen they actually have it so that it is like this and I guess that makes sense so that you don't really uh, rub the finial but because I have a few with clips it made the clip rub against each other so I think I will keep this um, orientation to it and basically I just have all the nice mute colors here there you go and I have my iridescent pearl and my apricot pearl so looks a little bit like that and then what I do with the clip I don't clip it over basically I try to put the clip in as well so there's like less rubbing with the other um, pens I don't really baby them when I lug them around but when I store them I try to make them as comfortable and <laughs> comfortable as safe I think would be a good one less prone to like scratches on this side I usually have my um, aluminum ones at the end so nice and glossy one and then some of these I can actually put clips on these as well but since the set didn't really come with a clip I decided against it okay then we have this yeah then again the clip goes inside so they don't really rub against each other much we have that one we have the little witch and we have the hello kitty and that's usually how i put them together which means of course that i have only one more slot for one more pen huh okay seem to have a good range of colors here i have blues i have reds i don't have yellow but i'm not so worried about that because i have the brass which would work in a pinch or even the orange i have purples browns i don't have a black one but that's fine i like uh quirky colors anyway Ooh, yes before i forget okay when i got this little witch right here i saw that bungu box also has a like a pen case that pen roll that came with it and it's called the enchanted forest so it comes in this pretty little box and it is by yuri and you'll see right here there's information about the uh, the roll or the case it's made with natural silk and it takes quite some time to actually put this together when i spoke with taco um via email wondering if they were going to bring it with them during the manila pen show 
Uh, I was a bit worried because it, they run out of stock. And he did tell me that uh, he, they would make sure they would bring a few with them. So one came with this and the other one I think came with a green little um, ball. So this is the packaging. So it has this over it and it's um, in this pretty little case. Very sweet packaging, very sturdy box from Yuri and Bungo Box. It's like a Bungo Box exclusive as well and it works really well with the little witch. So if you were to use it, see that? It's so nice. Basically, you'd want to put your pen in, like so, and let's try and see if we can put in a few more. Then you have one over here and maybe one over here, and it feels quite snug and cushioned and quite good. You can roll them up like this so it can look like this. I think that's quite cute. Okay, let's take them out again. I think I'm gonna do that if I decide to have like an all Caveco um, carry around with me. Cause seriously, it's such a lovely color and I think it goes well with a lot of the colors that I have in my collection. Okay, so I think that's about it. 13. Caveco Sport or Caveco Collection. I think at some point they decided to uh, change the name, um, especially in the ones that I like. Um, and some talk about the different accessories that um, they have for the Ken Caveco and also special distributors like Bungo Box and Galen Leather. So I hope that this has been helpful for you as you try to think about like which Caveco you're gonna get next or what kind of um, storage you have in mind for your Caveco. Look at this, 14 Cavecos, very compact. I love this, undyed leather. Um, you wanna go a bit more robust, have this, a bit more fancy, have this. From Bungo Box and Yuri, you want a bit more utilitarian, oops. Then get one from um, Caveco, they have pretty nice ones too. Okay, so I think that's about it. This is Kai from Kikai Craft. I hope that wherever you are, you're having a great day or a restful evening. Bye everyone.